here we have one of those questions where we've got more than one term at the top. So we're going to have to take out a common factor. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm because I've identified that it's one of these common factor questions, I'm going to go and split this up. How do I do that? I write it as 2 to the power of 2n and then 2 to the power of 2. And then how do I split this one up? 2 to the power of 2n and then 2 to the power of 1, right? Now at the bottom, I don't like the fact that this is a 4. I like it to be the most simplified number. So 4, if you write it on your calculator and you say shift fact, that'll be 2 to the power of 2. So I prefer to write it like that. Okay, and then at the top, we could take out a common factor of 2 to the power of 2n. So if we take out a 2 to the 2n as a common factor, then what are we going to be left with? Well, in the first term, we're going to be left with 2 to the power of 2. And then in the second term, we're going to be left with 2 to the power of 1. At the bottom, I'm going to do the exponent rule over here, which says that we must multiply. So that'll become 2n plus 2. So at the top, we're just going to be left with 2 to the power of 2n. The brackets will just become 4 minus 2, which is just 2. Okay, so that is all that we have at the top. Then at the bottom, I could split this up to become 2 to the 2n times by 2 to the 2. The reason I did that is so that these 2 to the 2n's can now cancel each other out. And so what I'm left with now is 2 over 4, because this just becomes 4. And if I type this on my calculator, it will simplify to a half.